Welcome everybody to our very first edition of the Let's Build It landing page challenge. Uh, today our two contestants are Christine and Tony. Welcome guys. Thanks for having um, us, Matt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I have selected a landing page that Christine and Tony then have to build. They'll have five minutes. They've never seen it yet or they don't know what it is I've selected. I don't think they've seen it um, in the near past, if you, if you happen <laughs> to use this particular tool. Um, but anyway, they're going to have five minutes to review the page. And then once the five minutes are up, they have 30 minutes to actually build it. So are you guys ready to go? I'll judge the final results and we'll throw it over to the viewers to see what they think as well. Um, so shall we get started? Let's do this. Let's see what you've, got, what you've got in store for us. All right, I did a little uh, oh. prep work for you guys. So you can, the landing page is evernote.com, the uh, note-taking software. Gotcha. So let okay. me start the five minute timer. So right, I, actually, I actually have used Evernote in the past. I have never seen this page though. This is their homepage. Yeah. Cool. I picked this because it's, it's kind of minimalistic, which is nice for a uh, short challenge like this, but it's super clean and smooth, very professional. And I think it's got mm -hmm. a, a lot of nice landing page building elements uh, we can show off here. Five minutes later. Yep. Um, so that's five minutes up. Are you guys ready to get building? All right. Well, um, get your landing pages ready and here we go. Three, two, one, and we're off. Let's do this. 30 minutes counting down. Now I can see both Tony and Christine's, um, computer screens here on my view. So I'm kind of monitoring, uh, their progress. We should let our audience know that doing it on camera, it adds a little bit of pressure onto us. Just as a fun fact, in case you're thinking, hear, oh my God, these- Just hearing lots of excuses, Tony. Just hearing excuses. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's gonna be some people in the comments section or something. They're gonna be like, oh my God, these Thrive nerds are pretty bad at building. Well, try doing it on camera, competing against another Thrive, uh, Thrive nerd. Adds a little bit of pressure. I'm looking for a comparable um, header. We don't have one that actually looks just like this one, so. How are you doing, Christine? Uh, I am looking for a font. Same as you guys. Um, I am going to just pick one that I like. I'm not gonna That's always a that. good choice. I'm going to use Montserrat. I always use Montserrat. Montserrat is like the font to use pretty much for anything. Like it, it really just works really nicely, regardless of what you're building. Yeah, I've been using it for years. I should probably use something else, but. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know about you, Christine, but I'm feeling pretty good about this. Are you? I am not. I, there's no way I'm gonna finish this page in half an hour. Like uh... zero, zero chance. But I think I will get like the main chunks of the page in. Mm. Tony's making some progress. Yeah, Tony, Tony's being no. a perfectionist. So they use two different things. Doing the, doing the details first, which I wouldn't recommend. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, some of these icons, I can't download. It's kind of like how... We are at the 18 minute mark left, guys. 18? So. Wait, do, yeah. wait, we have 12, min 12 minutes, minutes left? 18 minutes left. Okay, gotcha, 18 gotcha. 18 minutes left. Okay. You're scaring me here. Matt here trying to add more minutes, pressure onto us. 50 seconds to be exact now. So tell us about some of the elements you're dropping on screen and how you're, how you're so customizing we, them. So we, I guys. don't know about you, Christine, but I'm trying to keep it very, um, you know, I'm trying to do it by the book where I'm actually using my 
um, building hierarchy. So I'm adding in background sections every time I'm creating a new yeah. section and then I'm dropping a content box inside and then inside the content box, I'm actually building out my um, layout. So for most of these mm -hmm. sections, it's gonna be columns. You're using um, content boxes? Yeah, I like to use content boxes because that oh, way that's interesting. Um, I automatically get some padding in when I switch over to mobile. Oh, smart. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Are you using some outside in principles, Christine? I am. I went to the page settings to set my, um, my font for the entire page. That way you don't have to click on every single text item to change your font. Um, I also went to the central style panel on the right hand side and I set my main accent and secondary accent colors, which right now they're very close shades of green, but you know, if I need to, I can go ahead and change one and that should automatically update throughout the page. And um, I didn't yeah, I'm do not that. really doing, you did, it's really handy. Oh yeah, I should probably do that. Yeah. We will. So always important to try to think about how can I make the fewest clicks possible. So when you can set settings at higher, higher up in the hierarchy that cascade down to lower sections, that's always helpful. And Christine has some For great sure. videos about, about that as well. Right, Tony's, like keep... Tony's on the testimonial section. That's cool. What? Yeah, but Did don't do worry, already? Christine. I haven't done any of the, uh, I need to go back and grab all of the text and all of that. So you're good. Don't worry. Oh, I'm not even looking at what you're doing because I don't Yeah, time. no, I mean, I'm, <laughs> how are we doing so far? Let's see, I, it depends how you, I guess what you're judging. So Tony's definitely further along, but oh, no. I guess you're. You are working more on the the uh, structure of the page, and Christine is working more on the um, kind of more of the details as she goes along. Hmm. I'm skipping. So, I'm skipping the hard stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much time do we have left? You have eleven minutes twenty seconds. Okay. Cool. I'm actually, I'm actually happy with what I've got so far. I'm probably not going to be awarding points for the perfect, perfect, perfect font type. No. Something close enough is probably going to be okay. How much time do we have left? 30 seconds. Oh, oh we have 30 no. seconds. No. <laughs> 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 A five minute warning wouldn't would it, you know would have been nice, but I was so captivated by what you guys were doing, I lost track. <laughs> All right. Cursor's down in ten, nine, eight, seven, oh, six, uh, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. That's it. Okay. I mean this wasn't too bad. Save your work, uh, show me your preview, and I'm going to give it a, give it a um, once over here. Okay, so I'm looking at Christine's 30-minute uh, <clears throat> landing page here. Um, so that the header is, is, needs some work still. Um, it's not done at all. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was doing the easy stuff first, and the header is hard. Right. So. <laughs> right. I agree with that strategy. So you just kind of picked a template header, and then you're going to come back and, and edit it. Um, yes. Let's yes. see. And then in terms of the above the fold section, we have the h1 and some text we have the button and the login link text this looks really nice we have the image and the um, the subheads and text next to it in this 
two column element. That looks really good. That looks right on. We move into this video embed where we have the text. Background color looks on. Um, the video embeds working. Awesome. Okay, so the testimonial section, we got the background section in in the color, but nothing, um, none of the actual elements are in there. And then the two column layout section with the, the, I guess the feature benefits, that all looks really good. The only thing we're missing, I think, is the, um, the little image icons that we were having trouble right. uploading. And I guess that's it. And then it would go into the footer the footer section, which has all the links, the, all the mini Evernote links, which obviously we don't we don't have links to. So I don't know. For 30 minutes, this is <laughs> this is pretty close, except for the tough testimonial section. That's sort of a um, a slider feature or a, kind of a tab or image gallery feature. It looks like you got it mm. pretty much nailed there, Christine. What what are I guess what are your takeaways on this? If you had to do something different or um, well, the first thing that I did was, I think I did the, um, the fonts. So I'd recommend doing your fonts and picking your colors first. That way it's just done and over with. And then as you're building the page, you can kind of see the page coming together. I, I would actually recommend starting with the easy stuff because it kind of builds your confidence as you're working and you feel like you're getting more accomplished. Um, and stuff like the header and well, the header in particular, that has the potential to be a little bit frustrating because there's just so many different things that you want to do. Um, so, I mean, I could, I could spend 30 minutes on the header alone if I wanted to. It, it is pretty easy to do like a mega menu in Thrive Architect if you wanted, but to, to do, to match exactly what they had on the Evernote page would take some time. If it's going to be your own website, then you already have your header set up. So um, definitely, True. Yeah. definitely we can give some uh, cushion for not being able to get it all edited in time. All right, Tony, let's see yours. Okay. Definitely the, the header is a lot closer. So you got, got some, um, did you just pick a different starter template for your header, I guess? Yeah, so there's a shapeshift header that's pretty close to the one that Evernote uses, except that the but the you're gonna have to insert another column with um with a button and some text elements next to it to replicate the very far right hand column. That's cool. So that's I guess part of the trick in like minimizing your time and clicks is starting with the right template um, if you're not building things from scratch. So that was a nice play there. For sure. Looks like the, the okay, we're also looking good with in the above the fold. The button looks a little more like the, um, the one on the Evernote page, though the subheads and text, we just put placeholders in and to get around to updating those. Uh, looks like there's uh, border color applied to the above the fold background section, which is different from the Evernote page because it's a clean transition from that above the fold into the video embed. The video embed looks good. Um, maybe the only big difference there is the border is a bit thicker. We just have a template text in. Didn't get around to updating template text. Nice attempt at the testimonial section there, Tony. I, I, I admire the attempt <laughs> to get something in there. Um, and then I see you use some Thrive Architect icon elements to try to mimic, mimic the Evernote design in the feature section. Um, got the images, the main images in, but um, the sample text is just a placeholder for now, and then a basic footer to finish it off. So, also a really nice time. What are your thoughts on uh, what are your thoughts on the experience, Tony? I mean, if I were actually building out the Evernote website, I would definitely 
uh, power through the Thrive Theme Builder Wizard, pick out my brand colors, pick out the real font choices. I spent too much time trying to, you know, change font styles for each text element. That is a, you know, that's something that you definitely don't want to do. But in the context of building out a fun landing page where you're not actually powering through the Thrive Theme Builder Wizard, um, you know, I, I just had to power through this. But if I were actually building the real thing, yes, for sure, you know, power through the Thrive Theme Builder Wizard. And kind of like how you said, Matt, um, start out with templates that kind of replicate what you're trying to build. It will save you some time. Um, if you actually take a look at what we've been doing so far, I was starting out from, from some templates as well. It does kind of help you wireframe your page. So it always helps, never hurts. Okay, I guess I have to pass judgment now. That's the hard part. <laughs> um, it's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> drum roll. I can lose. It's totally okay, fine. Okay, Christine. <laughs> well, Christine gets points because I think the... Um, okay, I would take away points for the header in the testimonial section, but you were able to actually update all the text and images minus the little icon image we couldn't get sorted because they were SVG files. And on Tony, the, the header is a bit better, but we just have the placeholder text, but you were able to do something with the testimonial. They kind of balance each other out, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, things, the things Christine... I mean didn't manage to get to Tony did and the things Tony didn't manage to get to Christine did. So if I had to give them a score, um, I think I'd have to both give them 3.5 out of five. How does that sound? <laughs> but it's a tie. You each I'll get 3.5 points. <laughs> that sounds fair. I'll take it. I yeah. don't know, maybe yeah. the time. They're, they're definitely not perfect. So I hope you enjoyed this friendly competition. After you let us know who you think wins, also let us know what other kinds of competitions you want to see. We are going to be sure to link to Thrive Architect down in the description box. It's great for home pages, landing pages, opt-in pages, thank you pages, sales pages, and more. And if you need tools for more than just landing pages, then be sure to check out Thrive Suite, which includes Thrive Architect, Thrive Leads, Thrive Theme Builder, and the rest of our tools. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.